When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, FB Aftermath. Back with another video. Once again, we at Alpha Land. Today is a bench session. We might add some back to it as well. It's supposed to be a push-pull day, but the thing about it is, is I deadlifted yesterday. Hey, matter of fact, check this out real quick. All right, we back. Deadlifted yesterday, but I didn't really hit back, so I kind of want to add the back into my chest day. But we got a crucial big body chest day today. We're going to work up to a top set. And then I believe we have six sets of six today. We on some, we on some strength shit, bro. As you see with the 725 deadlifts for two, like we really, I'm, I plan on hitting 750 for two. If I can hit 750 for two, I, I damn sure know that I can hit 800. But we're just trying to really make sure we going to secure that 800 pound deadlift before I attempt it again. So I've been working on more of the volume with heavy weight stuff to kind of uh, navigate myself to like wh where I'm at with my deadlift. But let's go ahead and get to the bench. Let's get it. Woo, feel good today. So we'll probably work up to... Well, I really want to push 500 today because I need something for Instagram. Maybe like 510. But at the same time, if I do that, I don't know if I have enough energy to... This is where, it come, this is where the ego comes in. It's like, it's not like I want to do these things, but I feel like Especially with, you know, trying to balance what YouTube is interested in versus trying to balance what Instagram and the TikTok and all the other shit's interested in. It's hard as a content creator because Instagram's not worried about my six sets of six with 365. Instagram's more worried about, like, my 500 plus benches. But as YouTube, you guys appreciate the sets leading up to that point more than on other social media apps. So it's like being like this fitness influencer and like, you know, you want to post what does good. I know people are like, oh, just post what you want and stuff like, no, bro. Like, we're trying to get paid, we got to post what does good. That's just how it is, you feel me? Oh, that's a good height. That's a good height. I don't have to reset this. I was talking to Bob last night. I'm like, bro, how you get that arch so archy? Like, bro, this is as much as I can arch right now. This is as much as I can arch right here versus his sheesh he has a longer torso than me i'm like i'm like my legs are like up here you feel me like i look like a i don't know like a i don't know what it is a dung beetle spongebob i feel like spongebob is a lot of torso and little legs yeah no nah, not spongebob not spongebob feeling pretty solid today i feel like there's you know there's days where it's just kind of like and then there's days where you just feel like solid what I mean by solid is mean like you feel hydrated, your muscles are saturated with you know nutrients. Um, I didn't eat this morning and I still feel like you know solid today. I feel strong. There's days where I just like there's a difference in how you know the tightness and you know, like I feel like if I if I started doing curls, I would get a crazy pump right now. Like I feel strong, tight. Somebody commented, oh my God, bro. Somebody commented, I think I was benching like 520 or 500 something. Somebody commented, said, he wouldn't be able to get that. He would barely be able to get 500 without wrist wraps. <laughs> bro, wrist wraps is for cushion. It's just joint cushion. Uh, you know, like wrist wraps, I can do with or without wrist wraps. Wrist wraps do not help like that. Elbow sleeves? help wrist wraps do not help like that you know because you have to think elbow sleeves there's a bit of band you know there's a bit of like resistance and you get you can, you can kind of get like a little extra push with uh, with elbow sleeve wrist wraps you don't get that it's not like it's not like your wrist when you're benching your wrist bends like this with the wrist wrap and you get like a little extra push like no 
Understand, understand that. All right, instead of trying to go for 500 today, we're gonna to go 455 for two. Bro, if I hit this, if I hit 455 for two, oh, 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 <laughs> oh. All right, let's do it, let's do it. 455 for two, bitches. Uh, I do one, two, three. Appreciate that, real talk. Huh? Why did not that too? I was expecting two. We got 455 for four, bro. 455 for four. I told y'all I was feeling solid today. Told y'all I was feeling solid today. Oh shit. All right, now we now we got our actually our actual sets. 365 sets of six. Six sets of six for week one of the bench. Uh, right now, I am psyched. 455 for four, bro. I'm sorry. Like, I'm happy with myself, bro, because, like, you know, usually I'm starting to appreciate heavier reps for sets, you know, of a certain amount of, of, of reps. Uh, I mean, heavier weight for a certain amount of reps versus like my, you know, you, you, you know, people are so fascinated by that one big number and I'm starting to find interest in like, maybe not 500 for one today, but we can hit 400 something for like, you know, this many reps. So that feel good. For 455, that means I feel like I can hit, I could probably hit like at least 405 for like a nine or 10 right now. So, but we ain't gonna push that, but. We still gonna do our 365 for six sets, uh, six, so. That's good, big dog. You in town for a little bit? I'm leaving tomorrow. You leaving tomorrow? Yeah, headed to Dallas tomorrow. Oh, okay. Uh, more engagement, more comments. It's gonna, be, it's gonna boost your algo, bro. <laughs> yeah, this guy's a fucking terrible spotter. <laughs> I'm even gonna comment myself. I'm gonna be like, bro, what an L spotter. I'll have like the emoji with the big nose. <laughs> My bad. All right, now you good, bro, not for real. Luckily, I'm strong enough to, uh, to save myself. One, two, three. Up. Uh. So I'm stopping like right there before I touch the chest because there's more muscle activation in that area right there, right there before I touch the chest. It's the hardest part because I have to control the weight all the way down and all the way and, and stop right there and then push back up. Six reps once again. Feeling good, everything else to be like more like bodybuilding, bodybuilding like high rep stuff. Well, not high rep, but we're just, we're just gonna fucking kill it. Probably two more chest exercises, some flies, and one more press movement. Either it's gonna be decline or incline. Um, hammer strength, throw some flies over there. Then probably some uh, back exercises. Either back exercises or my arms are feeling good. So I'm like, 
I kind of want to hear some arms right now. And I never want to hear arms. You see that? You see that? Also, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm yo, comment below if y'all want cooking videos, man. Because I cook a lot of steak, and I get a lot of, uh, I, I, I post every time I cook steak, and I get a lot of messages in my Instagram DMs about how do you cook a steak that good, you know, at home versus on a grill or something. So if you guys want a video on that, comment down below. Uh, more cooking videos. I like to cook, I just never do, you know, because babe, you know, kind of spoils me with cooking. And it's just like, okay, you know, but when it's time to cook steak or like the meats, then that's all me. Well, I uppercut oh, this nigga, oh bro. God, gym, Real bro. talk, bro. Man, no, 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 no. You, no, you no. notice how you look up at me, bro? <laughs> <laughs> you know, the angles right. Bring the camera up a little. Wait, right, wait, what? Shit. You want my POV of this wrong, bro? He's trying to put bro in his place right now. Bro, hey, but tell him, hey. Hey, hold on, Kyle, where you at? Hey, but, you know, the six feet, six foot, tell him. It's perfect height. Bow! Hey, this is like, hey, this bow! Like, this is like 5'11 right now. Oh, word? Oh, word? <laughs> We'll do, we'll do sets of eight to 12 for the decline. I need to work on some wider grip decline to kind of clean up my side titty. You know what I'm saying? Cause my chest be looking good from the front, but they're like, they be kind of looking flabby on that outer lately. I'm like, I don't know if it's water weight or what, but I'm trying to tighten that up. So we're gonna do eight to 12 reps of this and we're gonna superset with some pull-ups cause I wanna, uh, start to transition into training a little bit of back, back and arms. We got steel rows, we'll do two plates, set to six to eight, about four to five sets. We're just gonna go ahead and move over to, to our back. Think about it is, I'm starting to be more aware of how much chest training I've been doing versus back training. And I felt a difference in my shoulder stability, shoulder hangs like strength. A lot of things have started to dissipate after I focused more on the, how, the amount of exercises I do for chest is the amount of exercises I do for back. And it's very, you have to, if you want healthy shoulders, you have to have that, you know, that pull, you know, and that push on, on kind of that same type of, of time of frame line. Meaning, you need your pull to be strong. You can't have your just chest strong and then, and then your, your pull sucks, you know? I can bench 500, can I row 500? Hell no. I can, I can row 300 clean, not five, but it's always about thinking about the back first before the chest. And I promise a lot of shoulder issues will start to go away. This is the seal row. So we got sets of uh, six to eight. With this, I probably can only do six, but we'll, we'll try eight. Last set I already transferred over 20. Next set 15, 12, 8 for the easy bar curls. Cable easy bar curls. Yeah. 
Awesome. All right, y'all. That is it for today's workout. Appreciate you guys for watching. If you made it this far, we got, I'm gonna cook a tomahawk steak for you guys. I'm gonna cook a whole meal for you guys. I'm gonna start doing day in the life vlog type stuff, bro. Because it's just like, I want, I want y'all to see what, how my boring ass day goes. People wanna see what I do in the day. I don't do shit. I rarely do anything throughout the day, but y'all wanna see it, so we gonna, we gonna figure something out for you guys. But next video, I think, I think I'm gonna do a cooking video for you guys, man. Cook a nice steak and show you how I cook a steak in the house, a big fat ass steak actually. And then, um, and yeah, you know, the meal, the rest of the meal, what I eat throughout the day possibly. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Once again, like and subscribe. Catch me on twitch.tv slash FBAftermath for Twitch live streams. You know, we'll just be chatting, we'll be playing games, we'll just be chilling. Follow the Discord as well, link in the description. And also, you already know, Alpha Elite. Use code Aftermath for 10% off. Catch you guys later.